gonna get a two hand dunk. <laughs> just straight down onto it. Yo, what's up guys? I got the Street Pro 2 from the Flow Life here, and I'm so excited to rip it around. But first, let me take you guys through the whole GT tire change process so that you guys get it on your boards too. The tools that I need to get this tire changed, I got four tools prepared and ready. This right here, it's a T25 bit. Pretty sweet, it's for all those screws, you know what's up. This here is a TP45 for those hub bolts right here. Got ourselves a Val core remover to get that core out, you know, gonna let all that air out. And we got ourselves a tire spoon, tire lever, whatever you want to call it. It is nylon, not metal. I would say don't use metal, just don't do it. You're gonna scratch your rim. Let's get it. Okay, first thing is first. I'm gonna take the four screws out from the fender delete. Sweet. And it just likes to pop off right there. So we'll set that off the side. Next, I like to take off these four hidden screws on the top of the foot pads right here. Sweet, now we're gonna flip this bad boy over. Yup, that's right. Gonna get these bumpers off. We're gonna start with the front one here. You got the two little ones and then the two here on the foot pad. So on the bottom of the bumpers, it has these little screws. You really want to make sure that you pay attention to these and put them back where they go and don't put the long ones in their place because they are short for a reason, you know? Sweet, once you get the screws out of that front bumper, you can just pull it straight off, you know, follow the rails, it just slides right off. I like to put my fingers on the foot pad here, my thumb here, and I just give it a little tug and then straight up. Oh man, I totally forgot about this. You gotta look at it. It is my motor cable. That's what happens when your lock ring breaks and you try and fix it without anything else. But we're not there yet, you know what I'm saying. I still got this back bumper on here. Let's get it out of here. You can just lift it off, it's like bye bye all right, we got the secret hidden foot pad screws. There's four of them. We're gonna get them out of here. There's two right here at the end of the rail and two right here in the beginning of the rail. Sick, we got the back foot pad off. Set it aside over here. Sweet, we'll just set that over there. Cool, so the next thing next, I wanna get this side off. So we're gonna get those four out of there. Sweet, and we can leave the other side in because it will just come off as like a modular piece. But we are going to go to the other side and take those two hub bolts out. So we're gonna take the TP45 on the socket wrench, give it a nice loosey goosey. I got these two out of here. So now we can take the control and the battery, take it out in one hand. What are we gonna do, Kyle? We're gonna pull it apart, AJ. That's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna set it aside because we don't need that. Six, and now you can see we just got the motor here. We got the rail on this side. We can leave the rail on that side. We don't need, we don't need access over there. But we are gonna unscrew this little fun cap here. That over there. And then you're gonna take your valve core remover and you're going to remove that core in there. Oh, it feels, oh, it felt good. I forgot the most important tool you need is a bead breaker. For now, I have a three ton press right there. <laughs> nice, solid, very solid. Gotta flip it over, 
boom. So we got the bead broke on both sides. Now we gotta make sure the tire is all the way off. Sweet. So now for the funnest part of any tire change on a one wheel, we gotta get this tire off of the hub. I could push the tire down and in one side, the side where the valve core is, the valve stem and everything, there is a groove right here. You gotta get one side of the tire into that groove and then the other side is where you shove your lever get that spoon part right on the lip and then just start prying back until it gets stuck so now that you have the lever in here you can see it's wanting to go over but you know you need some some leverage some pressure i like to make sure the side is really pressed in over here and then from this angle, I like to set it down on the tire. So the lever is facing down. And I put my palm right here. I put the rest of my fingers down on this lever here. And I hold that position. And then I go to this side. And I will grab either the rail here. I'll get my fingers in the edge like this. And then I'll start pushing down with my right palm here. And pulling towards me with my left hand. Yeah. Sick, so you got one side off, now you need to go get the other side off. And I like to do it just like this position, so this bottom bead is sitting in that groove right there, so the top wants to come out a little bit. So I like to do the same thing, get my palm up here, I get my fingers down over this this hub over here and then I just pull slowly out boom look at that comes nice I'm gonna clean up all this nice blue slime in here you know since future motion made the GT they've started using blue slime in their their one wheels and if you didn't know the float life makes slime for one wheels and it's all blue and I'm wondering maybe this is all stay afloat in one wheels now <laughs> that's what's up mystery throw and swag lifesavers who has installed lifesavers before let me know in the comments how hard it was for you when you first did it or if it was easy for you the first time maybe you just like got them on like butter let me know the stories of your lifesaver installs I have installed a lot of lifesavers and this is pretty much how I do it every time you know I get it started a bit like that I use my tire spoon just to get this guy in here worked up a little bit and then I just work at it you know yeah oh, look, look at that that pops on at the end, it's so satisfying. Once you get one side on like that, that's when you throw that tire on. <laughs> what tire do I have? The Street Pro 2, baby. That's what's up. They've done a lot of testing on this. They've, they've ridden it out, you know, made sure it was perfect for the GT. I'm stoked to get it on here. And, uh, you know, rip it around, try it out, really put it to its test, you know? So, if you're changing this tire, this is a directional tire. It's got some little indicator arrows on here. Little arrows like this that tell you which way forward is because it's pointing forward. So that's how the rotation of the tire is going. So the way I tell it forward is on my board is I look at the motor cable on the rail. I see this cable sticking out. I know this is the controller. I know that's pointing forward. I find the arrows and I want to just match that same rotation, right? So this is going this way, that's going that way. So this tire has to go on just like this. So how do I like to do this? I like to grab the tire just like this. I put my palms right on the edge so I can get my fingers over the hub. It's touching the tire's bead right where my palms are. So you can see right where my palms are, that's where the hub is touching it. Push my right hand down around the hub just a little bit and as you keep doing that you'll feel it just slowly pop on so now we have the second bead which is a little tougher 
So what I like to do is I get one side, usually opposite of the, uh, the stem over here, and I'll just push it down and into that groove, and I'll just squeeze it, you know, finagle it. And then so right here, you can see this is touching. That's right where I put my palm, and I push this way, and you can see it's slowly crawling. And I want to make sure that this side stays over here and doesn't crawl. That's why this hand stays here. So from there, just keep crawling it, crawling it, boom. All right, next lifesaver, baby. Let's get it on here. Yeah, I like to line this float logo up with the core here. Yes, that is right. And how I do that is I just stick it right on there first, get it worked around like this. I use my fingers and my palm to push the lifesaver all the way over the hub. So it pops over like that. But you just got to get underneath of it and then start working your way back up the hub. What I'm doing here is I'm just pulling it over and then back onto that hub. Now we're pretty much ready to put everything back together. I'm going to turn the air compressor on. Should we wait or should we sand it? And then just, yeah. He said, he said, this is how you What? It's a real test. What? If you can hear me while the air compressor is on, you know? We have to make sure we have enough air in the air compressor. So we're gonna put a little bit back together. Just a little bit. Oh yeah, this is what we want though. Important bits, baby. The thing slides in. So sick. So once you pop this on, you wanna get those two hole bolts in. That's all you need at first. What? Can you not hear me? Say it again! You need the two hub bolts! Just the two to put in the in the hub to keep the motor on with the TP45. Lefty Lucy righty tighty. You know, you've heard that before. Oh my god, I can't even tighten right. It's so loud. You want to make sure that these are really tight? But not right now, you wanna make sure they're just in there. So don't tighten them all the way down just yet. We wanna put more screws in there first. All right, we wanna put these back in here, these four. Yeah, look at that. Why are you yelling at You're me? You're yelling at me! So once you get those two hub bolts in the side there, you wanna make sure you get the four screws that go into the battery and the control here. You gotta get all four of those up inside of here. All right, so, so you heard that air compressor go off. You know what that means? That means it's time to pop some beads. Pop some beads on. So what do you guys think that this, these beads are gonna pop at? I'm guessing probably around 40, 40, something like that. 40, 42. 25. Dang. 36. 36, I heard it from the audience out there. Let's see. Oh, you wanna watch? You wanna watch with me? I already made it to 9.5, you ready? So once you forcefully pop those two beads in there, you're gonna grab that core and you're gonna grab your core remover, also core installer, you could say, cause we're gonna install that core. Now we're gonna put some real pressure on this boy. What do you guys like to ride at? I know this is a brand new tire, so no one's even ridden at, but what is your guys' preferred PSI? If you can guess mine, uh, that would be sick. Let's see if you got it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Perfect, 19 PSI, that's right. That's what I like to ride at. I'm gonna make sure these are tight now since I got those four in the controller and the battery box. Damn, my motor cable. Do you guys remember what it looked like? It was, it was like, uh, you ever seen that movie Borat? Borat. Yeah, you know the green swimsuit that he had? I do. That's what your, that's, your electrical tape looks like over sure. your motor cable. You know it's holding it there. You know it's not going anywhere. Dang, I gotta put that banana hammock back on this motor cable. That's for sure. If you've never made a banana hammock, it's time. Dude, what the heck? 
invisibility tape. All right, now it's ready to banana hammock it up. Pull it tight on both of these sides here. You guys let me know what you think of that fix. Give me all the give me all the dirt on it, man. I want to see I want to see what you guys say. Six. Now everything is good to go. We got the right pressure. Everything's tight. Banana hammocked up. Next things next. Look, we can go in order probably from these. So first things first, we're gonna get the foot pad on there. Get these guys in here. I like to put the. Uh, the secret hidden foot pad screws first just to hold it in there and that's up here on the underside of these rails at the top we're gonna get them in there sweet so this is the moment I like to take this little guy from the foot pad I like to plug it in and you want to make sure the notch here is on the top so our, our board is flipped so it would be on the bottom at this moment so make sure that is the right way and you're gonna plug it in there and just like the motor cable I kind of give it some back spins really let it sit and you'll feel it push on there and then from there I get it really tight so that it's nice and squeezed on I don't want that thing coming off that would suck that thing just came off in the middle of riding. Next thing is another foot pad. Look, we're going in order. That's what's up. This is a Kush Wide from the Float Life. They're freaking sweet. They're pretty sweet. I had this, uh, I got this one a long time ago. It's a pretty old one. I think it's a prototype one. But uh, you can get those at thefloatlife.com. They're pretty fucking sweet. Well, oh, I got it. Sick. So once you get those secret screws on, what's next? That's right, back bumper, baby. Let's go. So you can just set it on there. Make sure you line it up. Give it some smacks. This is where you want to get those tiny screws back. The back bumper takes four of those tiny screws. They're on the bottom here. And then the foot pad takes those regular ones. You know what they look like. It's those average boys. Whoop. Let's get them in. Yes, sir. Check it. Dirt surfers. Or should I be like, dirt surfers. Dirt surfers. Dirt surfers. <laughs> I can't go all the way upside down. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the front is uh, a little harder than the back. You got to slide it on. I don't know why they just didn't make two extra holes there. But, you know, I have to smack it on there. <clears throat> yeah. So you take those last two tiny screws. Little tiny boys. Tiny. Tiny. Oh, is that hard? Tiny. <laughs> you're going to put them in there. And you're going to get those average ones. You know what those look like. Throw them in the top. These four screws here for your foot pads boom it's pretty easy I think you can get that one on there sick now we're done we can get all the tools out of the way that we don't need just you know, oh put them back where they go right in the right spots because that's where you need them that is the GT tire change for you guys Sick, so I got the Street Pro 2 here from the Float Life. I gotta test it out, you know what I'm saying? Moment of truth, she's working great. Oh, what other great tests to do? Yes, there we go. Oh, nice. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? We broke you, baby! Dang, they just want it! They want it!